all in the next lecture of the differentiation so here we will continue our the rules for the differentiation so here now we discuss about the chain rule chain rule is also called the implicit function rule and what is this here uh, suppose we have a uh, y is a function of v and v is a function of x then y is a function of x and means we have to find the differentiation of y with respect to x that is dy by dx it is equal to dy by dv multiply dv by dx is uh, here actually if we have the function y in terms of x and uh, so we put that function is v and the dy by dx the derivative of y with respect to x this is dy by dv dv by dx so let's see the through the example so here if our function is y equal to ax square plus bx raised to the power 1 by 2 so how can you solve it means how can you differentiate of this y with respect to x so we know that the formula of chain rule dy by dx is equal to dy by dv multiply dv by dx so how can we apply this here because we know the differentiation of the an algebraic function means x raised to the power n right so but here note x we have a uh, one function here is ax square plus bx so here we suppose that this is our another function v so we assume that v is equal to ax square plus bx so now what is our function our function y is become v raised to the power 1 by 2 so here our function y in terms of v right so here uh, from here we can find dy by dv when we differentiate this function so it give dy by dv so dy by dv is here uh, we know that v raised to the power 1 by 2 what is the differentiation of this this is 1 by 2 v raised to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 so it become v raised to the power minus 1 by 2 so and when we differentiate then this v is a function of x here so from here we can find dv by dx this is dy v by dx so it is a x square so this become 2 a x plus b x this is a linear function so the differentiation of x with respect to it is the coefficient of x so that is b right so now our dy by dx is dy by dv into dv by dx so what is our dy by dv means the derivation differentiation of uh, y with respect to v that is 1 upon 2 and put here the value of v that is ax square plus bx raised to the power minus 1 by 2 multiply dv by dx so what is dv by dx that is differentiation of v with respect to x so this is 2ax plus b so this is our differentiation of y with respect to x so by chain rule you can find is like that okay so now next example is that y equal to 4x3 plus 3x minus 7 raised to the power 4 so here uh, again we have the function so we assume that v is equal to our this term 4x cube plus 3x minus 7 so what is our y y's function become v raised to the power 4 so now when we differentiate it so y is a function of v here so from here we calculate dy by dv and v is, v is a function of x here so from here we can calculate dv by dx so now our dy by dx is dy by dv so what is dy by dv when we differentiate of y here with respect to v so that is 4 4 comes forward and become v raised to the power 1 by 3 and sorry 1 v raised to the power 3 and what is v v is our 4x cube plus 3x minus 7 and next is uh, dv by dx so what is dv by dx you have to differentiate of this function with respect to x so it become 4 3 12 x square plus 3 so this is the differentiation of y with respect to x and we can do it by the chain rule clear 
next one is the inverse function rule so what is the inverse function rule actually if our function x is equal to f y then and we need to find the dy by dx so how can we find the dy by dx so our dy by dx is equal to 1 upon dx by dy because here our uh, function x function in y so from here we can calculate easily dx by dy but we need to find the dy by dx so how can we do it we can do it dy by dx is equal to 1 upon dx by dy it's clear okay let's take an example for this suppose our function is given that x equal to 3y square and here we want to find the dy by dx so how can we find the dy by dx here so from here we can find first dx by dy because this here we have the function x in terms of y so when we differentiate it with respect to y so what it be 2 comes forward so it become 3 to 6 and this is y raised to the power 2 minus 1 1 so it becomes 6 y and here we need dy by dx so what is dy by dx here that is 1 upon dx by dy and our dx by dy is 6y so it become 1 upon 6y so the differentiation of this function with respect to x dy by dx it is 1 upon 6y similar if we have suppose y equal to 4x cube and here we ask that find the dx by dy so how can we find the dx by dy here from here here y, uh, given function is y with respect to x so we differentiate here dy by dx so it become 4 3 12 x square and we calculate here dx by dy so what will be dx by dy here that is 1 upon dy by dx so we can just opposite it so it is 1 upon 12 x square clear okay so from here we can see that if our function given x in terms of y so how can we calculate dy by dx and if our function given y in terms of x so how can we calculate dx by dy by the inverse function clear okay so let's take some other examples of the chain rule so here we have the example is choose the chain use the chain rule to find the derivative with respect to x so here function is given y equal to 4 sin x square so here we have the function y in terms of x and find the uh, dy by dx so how can we find here the dy by dx so let assume here uh, our this is u equal to x square why because we know the derivative of sin x but not know the derivative of sin x square so here we as if we assume this x square is a uh, one term so that is u equal to x square so now what is our y our y become 4 sin u and we know the derivative of sin u right you know that what is the trigonometrical function uh, differentiation of the trigonometrical function remember this okay so last uh, lecture i will to i told you that what is the differentiation of the trigonometric function so here we differentiate it here u is the function of x so he from here we can find du by dx so what is du by dx it is 2x and from here y is the function of u given u is here so from here we can find dy by du so that is 4 and sin u what is the differentiation of sin u derivative of sin u yes the derivative of sin u is cos u now uh, we need to find the dy by dx so what will be our dy by dx so here we have to use the chain rule so that is dy by dx is dy by du multiply du by dx and we have dy by du that is 4 cos u and du by dx is 2x right so now when we simplify it it become 4 to 8x cos x square and put the value of u here u is your x square so this is the differentiation of uh, dy by dx 8x cos x square clear so let's take another example if we have y equal to x square plus y raised to the power 10 and from here we need to calculate the dy by dx so what will be dy by dx here again we have the one function power and uh, so here we have to put that this is our u 
and so our y is become u raised to the power 10. So now from here u is the function of x. So from here we calculate du by dx and from here we calculate dy by du. Then after chain rule we can easily find the dy by dx. So what is our dy by dx of u10 that is d by du u10 we have to differentiate it. This is dy by du multiply du by dx. So now, what is the differentiation of u raised to the power 10 with respect to u? That is 10 u raised to the power 9 and the differentiation of this function with respect to x that is 2x and we know that the derivative of the constant function is 0. So it becomes 0. So now our differentiation is 20 when we multiply here and put uh, the value of uh, u that is x square plus 5 so it become u raised to the power n x square plus 5 raised to the power n and this is 10 to 20 x so this is the derivative differentiation of this function with respect to x clear let's take another example here we have given y is equal to square root of 2x plus 1 so how can you differentiate it y with respect to x so, it means that y is equal to 2x plus 1 raised to the power 1 by 2. And this is our 1 function. So, we put here u equal to 2x plus 1. Then, what is our v? Then, our y is become u raised to the power 1 by 2. So, now by the chain rule, we can easily find the dy by dx. So, here, from here, we can find du by dx. From here, we can find dy by du. When we multiply both these, so we, so we will get dy by dx. So, now dy by dx is dy by du into du by dx. So, now when we do the differentiation of with respect to u, so it become 1 by 2, u raised to the power minus 1 by 2. And the differentiation of this function, what is? This is 2 and the constant function derivative is 0. So, it become only 2. So, when we simplify it, it becomes u raised to the power min minus 1 by 2 and put the value of u here. So, it become 2x plus 1 raised to the power minus 1 by 2. So, this is the differentiation of this function with respect to x clear okay so this was our chain rule and the inverse function rule so today's lecture is completed now thank you be happy be healthy